FIFA Qatar World Cup 2022 and as you can see amazing things are happening uh, surprising things um, remember yesterday if you check our previous videos I brought you um, the games uh, well, I think from group E and group uh, F and uh, honestly a bit of a surprising surprising result where we saw Costa Rica won two okay they lost 2-4 to Germany despite Germany winning they still lost so Germany it's official they're out uh, Japan the most inter interesting one is J Japan uh, won against Spain two goals to one imagine in this group Japan is the only team that has beaten both Germany and Spain Kazipo. so we had Canada were beaten 2-1 by Morocco the African team and then we had Croatia draw against Belgium so in group E Japan are now topping the group uh, after of course after beating after beating Spain I know people who bet actually they have really suffered they have really 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 suffered but in whichever the case so Japan topping the group with six points followed by Spain four points uh, followed by Germany four points now that Spain has more goal difference than Germany then Costa Rica with three points it was a fantastic group um, all the teams really showed up and uh, Japan and Spain are advancing in group F we had Morocco topping the group after beating Canada 2-1 so Morocco with seven points followed by Croatia five points then Belgium four points and Canada one now straight into it today we have group H and group G matches so group H matches we have uh, Ghana Uruguay South Korea Portugal those are the group H matches so guys this one today actually so far 12 teams have advanced to the knockout stages we still want four more mm -hmm. four more so um today we're having the group h and group g matches so at 18.00 hours there'll be the group h matches will be playing so I'll, I'll start with the group h matches first an interesting and lovable and a revenge it's a mission revenge revenge mission match ghana against uruguay now guys if you can remember uh luis suarez there was in it was very controversial you remember in uh, in the world cup uh, ghana were to they scored actually people argue that the goal was uh, the the ball was above the the line but suarez uh, punched it out with the with his hand of course he was given a red card but uh, ghana were awarded a penalty and uh, as Samoa Gian, if you can remember very well he he missed the penalty actually he blew it over the bar it's called over the bar so Ghana missed out so Ghana want a revenge for what Luis Suarez did to them but guys Luis Suarez on an interview yesterday he said he's not apologizing and he won't apologize because he did what he had to do to save the team he was punished for that with a red card that's a punishment of course so after being punished um, the Ghana themselves they missed the penalty so they should not blame him they should blame the one who missed the penalty so he, say, he said he won't apologize if there's anybody if there's somebody to apologize he has to be a Samoa Gian. but in whichever the case under auto Ado, Ghana will have to prove or to do that revenge which they have to do uh, against Uruguay so uh, Uruguay actually the manager is Mr. Diego Alonso and uh, so far we have Ronald Aucho who is missing on the Uruguayan side on the Ghanaian side we have no missing players it's full full revenge mission but in whichever the case the referee will, will be Mr. Daniel Siebert all the way from um, Germany and uh, the match will be played at of course my, my favorite stadium beautiful matches beautiful stadium Al Janoub Stadium so this one guys just to clear the air just straight up i'm going with ghana to win this game by at least two 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 one two one it might end as two two but two one actually um ghana position two with three points if they draw 
they'll be at four points, but they have to draw with a bigger um, with a bigger goal difference because it's still an open group. But in whichever the case, Ghana will win this game two one. South Korea against Portugal on the same same group. Um, under Paulo Bento, South Korea will be coming to play this game with uh, Portugal under Fernando Santos, who is the manager. So, actually on the Portugal side, we have Nuno Mendes, who is doubtful. Uh, we have Otavio and uh, we have Danilo Pereira. Those are the players who are so far, um, of course, doubtful for the match. But... Mr. Facundo Tello from Argentina will be the referee of this match and it will be played at Education City Stadium. So, topping on this group is Portugal with six points. Actually, they already qualified. Uh, Ghana, three points. Number two, actually, they just they need a win, not a draw. A draw is a gamble. And South Korea with one, Uruguay one. So, this one. It's funny to say, but South Korea might win because we, are, as we can see, we are seeing a lot of uh, surprises. So I won't be surprised if um, South Korea wins this game. At least they'll go down with a with a pride. So I'm going with South Korea to win this game one 0 On the other side, I'm going with um, Ghana to win. So in this group, group um, H, I'm expecting. Uh, Portugal and Ghana to qualify to the next stage. So don't go anywhere. I'm coming up. I'm coming up with Group G matches until next time.